For this week's video, I wanted to make a kind of guide on what you can do with old GPUs. And this is going to be kind of focused towards gamers, but a lot of this will also apply towards workstation users and people that use GPUs for other things. So let's get started. The first option that I would like to offer for people looking to find a different use for their GPU is to sell it. When you get a new GPU and you upgrade it, it's nice to make a little bit of that money back, and I would recommend selling it to a friend or somebody who needs an upgrade and sell it to them for kind of a discount just so that they can get a good upgrade to their GPU right after you get yours and you still get a little bit of money back into your bank. I generally do that with my friends sometimes. Um, I just sell it to them for like $40, my last gen uh, GPU, just so that they can get a nice upgrade and I can get a little bit of extra money in my wallet after I have upgraded to the newest generation of GPU. The next option that I have is adding the card to your existing machine as a pure folding GPU. So once you get your new card and you've upgraded, just put the old card back in, you know, drop it down a slot or whatever in your computer and just have it sit there and fold. And basically what folding is, is folding proteins for the Stanford Medical School and you're contributing to cancer research and other things that utilize proteins, medicines, other diseases and it all goes to a good cause. Not to mention, it does have quite the competitive atmosphere as you earn points for completing these jobs, and you can join teams, and yeah, you can just turn compute power into kind of a competition to see who can compute the most. And it's a blast, and I fold for a team, and I have a lot of fun, and actually one of the cards in my machine is a dedicated folding GPU that whenever I'm just sitting around doing whatever my computer's on, it's always folding, so I don't have the rest of my computer folding all the time. The third option that I'd like to offer is kind of a specific one, but you can add an NVIDIA GPU back into the system as a physics card and use it in games that support physics. And what physics is, is NVIDIA's special physics rendering engine, essentially. And you can actually dedicate a card within the NVIDIA control panel to be a pure physics card and utilize it to do physics calculations. However, the games that you play have to support physics, so you will have to check on the NVIDIA website to see which games exactly support physics. But if one of those games on that list is a game that you play, you might want to do that just so you can get some pretty good frame rates and reduce your lag spikes due to a lot of physics objects in any scene. Another use for more GPUs is to add more monitors to your system. If you're using up all of the available ports on your GPU or you have so many display ports but none of your monitors support them, if you have a video card of the same brand, generally they don't have to be the same video card, it just has to be either two NVIDIA cards or two AMD cards. If you have two of the same brand in a system, you can just use the ports on the other card to have more monitors and it should work just fine. Now mixing the cards, you generally can't do. In my system, I have two graphics cards. One's an NVIDIA card, that's my primary card. The other card's an AMD card. That's the one that I use for folding and that's the only thing it does. I don't plug it into anything. All it does is it sits there and it folds. The fifth and kind of most important option to use an old GPU for is to just kind of keep it laying around so that you can troubleshoot with it. Anybody who's worked with computers for any period of time will know that having an extra GPU sitting around is a great thing. Because if you have an issue, a graphics issue, and you think it might be related to the GPU, it's nice just to be able to pick up another card, throw it in there, and kind of test it to see if it actually is a GPU issue by changing the GPU. So that's kind of the last option that I have for you guys. There are many more out there. You can search for other things, but those are my five suggestions on what to do with your old graphics card. So if you'd like to see me go in depth on any of these options and kind of give a tutorial on how to do it, especially with like the folding and maybe physics and other things like that, leave that down in the comment section below. Otherwise, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you like the content, and I will see you guys in the next video.